Yeah, I'll jump straight into it, do the intro later. Start with something easy. Well, it's not easy, but uh, kind of more simple, the eye tracking business. So we have two versions of it currently running, one mainly relying on uh, Python. It's using, using MediaPipe uh, NumPy to do the eye tracking. It should be pretty straightforward. So I don't have anyone in my ear. I don't have a CEO or anything talking into my ear. It's my own uh, monitoring the sound just to make sure I'm using the correct uh, microphone. And because as you can tell, I have two webcams, so three microphones. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm using the the proper mic. Yeah. Now you see this eye tracking kind of works. Uh, we can do a uh, print screens because if I actually look at the camera I obviously don't see myself and we'll keep uh, developing it um, uh, we'll start with uh, GPT-4 so I'll pop those images in um, but let's just uh, have another one where we uh, look at the camera I want to see yeah so the eye tracking kind of works yeah that's the good thing about uh, GPT-4 is that you can actually upload images that's great yeah so it's kind of does uh, uh, finding the pupil that's okay so we'll have to eventually ideally not ideally it will just be obviously just work out of the box but practically it will require some sort of calibration so we we'll try to make a flask application that will um, do eye tracking and when i say eye tracking not to be confused with uh, pupil tracking no because we are doing pupil tracking not the uh, eye tracking alone so the eye tracking actually works pretty, pretty well yeah this yeah I used to have this weird thing when i move my head one way yeah if i move it to one side it can um, the eye tracker uh, legs behind and if i move it uh, the opposite side it actually keeps up with the eyes uh, one eye is jumpier than the other yeah we're doing fps of uh, 30 we actually have the two webcams i was actually thinking using two of them so we can get to fps of 60 with two simple webcams i don't know if that helps or not yeah i'm not sure if some sort of calibration procedure will be required now currently we're relying on as i said uh, a media pipe uh, Python library, CV2 and uh, NumPy. However, we would actually like um, for it to work in front end, so JavaScript uh, only, which we had a version for as well, which it kind of works, but not as good as uh, this one. So, any suggestions are welcome. And if there's no human who wants to talk, I'll have to talk to the robot okay now we have another version that is actually is uh, javascript if we stop this one for a sec because i'm already using the camera yeah this one's using quite a bit of my cpu and gpu i haven't actually checked how much but uh, i would assume it's quite a bit so we actually want to offload the processing on to the client yeah maybe a good uh, time to mention that uh, yes we do have a consulting in another website called the uh, bionic cloud so that one can run uh, a web apps on my server um, it will require a login on your behalf and then uh, yes we can do the python uh, stuff so use more more of my cpu gpu however for the example we're just doing we're still doing a flask application so there is a backend but the backend actually doesn't do anything there is only this 10 lines of uh, python code um, it's actually yeah calling this uh, well there's the index uh, html that is using a uh, tracking js uh, which is not it's not a public uh, so it's uh, using uh, tensorflow.js and blaze face so i assume blaze face it's a good name would be a replacement for 
the media pipe uh, library long story short we have this uh, tracking js that does all the uh, heavy lifting of uh, actually calculating finding the pupils and the light and we go over it in sec just run it quickly should be using the same uh, camera yeah so that's just javascript alone uh, for the reason i could not uh, overlay this stuff yeah we need to split the tracking and all the um, the other stuff so might uh, yeah might start uh, developing with this one if you don't mind i'll uh, share the code and we will go from there so yes it is a flask application but uh, we would like not to have much happening at all at the back end so i don't want to overload my server at uh, this case now we have this uh, html eventually we would like to add the description at the bottom of how it works what it does etc now i'm not sure about this uh, css the processing is currently not overlaid onto the video footage well it's, so it's currently not uh, transparent as well so i don't know what's up with that as i uploaded a couple of images of what the front panel looks like it actually has the eye tracker uh, below the image there so that image is um, getting uh, bigger when you move closer to the camera which is fine and this is the structure of the folders and files in this project and uh, this is the main file the tracking js that uh, actually does uh, all the calculations for finding the face uh, yeah maybe you can explain what it does uh, we would like to refractor this code into multiple files one that does the um tracking the pupil detection and tracking and the other one that deals with everything else that is being displayed on the page eventually we want to display the whole processing on the page so i thought we had some uh, grayscaling i don't see it anymore must have been removed yeah so we're finding the darkest point uh, within the eye we want to display the area of uh, interest uh, on top of the video footage uh, are you going to be generating the code or providing some uh, templates for github copilot to fill in if you have any general comments about this application anything funny not too funny keep it on topic a uh, modern welcome to share your thoughts okay i loaded the code again how about we actually start uh, developing a uh, keep responses short technical specific to the code okay maybe drop the funny business stuff uh, we need something working uh, let's start refractoring the code so we understand it better and uh, can uh, make uh, improvements to it also with the uploaded images we need to fix this bit where the only one eye is uh, shown below the video footage we meant to have uh, both eyes and also in focus onto the eye itself onto the region of uh, interest um, if you don't want to display it uh, over the actual eye that should be okay but uh, preferably we'll do both like a box over the eye and uh, the actual footage with the pupil found in it well ideally in the same place over the video footage as well but if you have any other suggestions do let uh, me know yep yeah I still see only one eye display displayed how about we refract the code entirely into separate javascript files so you can take the current code 
and suggest uh, one file that does the tracking alone and the other one deals with uh, screen uh, display and uh, other things can you start uh, generating complete uh, code as well just uh, generating the whole code with no uh, uh, templates not any missing bits copy pasting is a skill isn't it yes we had we have, we already had this code uh, before hopefully it didn't stuff it up too badly so this will be a face detection it's returning a darkest point from extract eyes region uh, function and we have a detect pupil right so the sorry i should read the code properly shouldn't i so we have extract uh, eye regions that returns uh, i guess those uh, coordinates x y width and height for left and right eye and then we have detect pupil that returns the darkest point within the ROI within the region of interest. That sounds legit. Yeah, the other code seem to be incomplete as well. Well, the face model doesn't indicate any placeholders in the script. Video stream as well. We just regenerated face detection. Uh, for this uh, file, can you generate the whole script that uh, runs with no errors? Instead of tr tracking JS, we are uh, running main JS. So tracking JS will go. We have the index uh, HTML, I guess, uh, stays the same. Yeah, those imports is uh, start utilizing uh, github copilot as well is my half a camera still working yes that's the usage example am i using it correctly i don't think so yeah we're not actually uh, using this can you generate the whole main js that will run with no errors Yep, so where it got engineering from? I didn't say that, did I? Clear? Yeah, I suspect it will start hallucinating in a bit. Yeah, so what's, uh, does anyone know what does it actually mean, the model module type? Um, I suspect that's the one that allows you to import like this, but um, I don't think I want to do that. I'm not sure because uh, I think there's another another way of doing it let's see no it's still using the imports yes we do have these files in the same directory we are happy to go with it like, I mean I don't have anything uh, better index HTML suggesting to do uh, this I'm not sure if it will find the file it's in js folder let's we'll see in a sec and it's, uh, we generated the main js which is fine i don't mind it's like 50 lines of code i think the folders are wrong would the github copilot be able to fix this let's save that as well that helps doesn't it Okay, now we don't have the error anymore, but nothing is loading. Still loading stuff, or I don't know. Try Control Five. Yeah, I can't find the files. Hey, we need to fix that. We just do inline. What? That's not right, is it? Yeah, just taking the previous comment and uh, uncommenting it for whatever reason. The problem. We are in JS folder. Please don't make us stuck too early. Uh, this is our current file and folder structure. Uh, how do I fix the code so it can find all the necessary bits? Yep. Oh, do fine. Okay, that's the error is gone. Is gone. Now we got another, another one. 
it must be the main js the imports that's still the same is a in static yeah it's static js folder so what's the problem why well, i'm getting three or four so flask application should be serving a static files can copilot do at least that so i can either sort it in a html which i did i thought i did yeah it's all this little bit yeah i think if we get stuck we move on to the next tool that's kind of the rule that we use because normally this type of problems just uh, solve themselves uh, out uh, later wait can you regenerate the whole index html that runs with no errors yep yeah there might be a couple of issues with the the module specifier yeah these things are not correct can we fix the folders or as per usual having trouble some basic stuff like loading why did it put the style within the index html there should be separate files the index html so we have the video of the component yeah now it's starting to hallucinate stuff i think not sure but that line is the same yeah currently we're just having trouble with the folders let's solve that quickly we just um where's the face model and just copy relative path a video stream copy relative path the folder name getting three or four spelling to load where is uh can you update this might need the workspace uh, operator so it can uh, find all the necessary files no i won't do it would it that's unfortunate oh, why? hey what's the folder and file structure for this project let's give it another go right so we have a static style css js um yeah those two tracking are gonna go so that's the old stuff app index html requirements that looks legit can anyone solve hey can you solve this error for me and uh, check if there is anything else wrong with this code yep yeah let's quickly start a new chat i think it started hallucinating a bit and uh, we need to fix uh, some of these things and again before you scream at me for not using uh, github copilot um, the problem with it is it's uh, context uh, is very short so i can't actually get it to do anything useful yeah this too can go okay, so we're getting an error for this code a uh, if you can just fix it that would be great uh, the main question is what's the difference between uh, script type module and a regular uh, call of a uh, main js i mean i understand the differences between how we can import um, other uh, javascript files but can you have a look at this code and suggest uh, how to fix it yep do i need to download the javascript from the cdn and use it locally or something uh, how do i actually fix this code the other folder names seem to be correct here is also the rest of the code do i need to change this uh, line of code in uh, face model js yep okay i don't get any errors anymore uh, but there is nothing overlaid uh, on top of the video footage here is the 
some of the the relevant code again yep did you mean this uh, main loop uh here's the main uh, js that i currently have i do see the video footage but there is no uh, nothing overlaid on top of it yeah I'm not sure what the problem is there's nothing displayed no errors in the console console again so the again so the browser console is not showing any errors i do see the video footage but there is nothing overlaid on top of it i get the following in the python terminal uh, this is my html as i currently have it uh, could you suggest what the problem might be and also can you regenerate the css file i do see the red uh, border for the canvas but there is no face or eye detection or pupil detection a uh, video stream seem to be working okay a uh, face detection the two functions the extract eye region and detect pupil seem to be fine but i don't think they are being used anywhere so getting the following in the flask uh, terminal this uh, console log for predictions is not uh, showing anything is it possible that the uh, detect and draw is not uh, actually being executed uh, you can check the code uh, the video stream started successfully the model loaded successfully but then the uh, get prediction is not being called okay it's now seemed to work okay but i still don't see anything drawn on the video footage the video footage is working fine we do we do now have all the predictions they are being called okay let's go over this quickly and just quickly test the uh, remove the a uh, video it's still there why because i forgot to save it all right that display none i think funny with the display how do we resolve this let's actually make sure everything is getting um to the main js called the data yeah we're logging the predictions over here that should be okay don't have to log them twice do we and the model is loading okay if the predictions are there yeah video stream should be fine if we see the video streams it's kind of a no-brainer yeah i just suspect it's the format um of the data Okay, so where am I doing that? I think we just need to focus on the main JS and also the drawing util. So the predictions are there. They seem to be okay, but there is nothing drawn on top of the video footage. How do we fix this? Yep. I don't know why it's not picking up on that error, but there is no uh, bounding box in prediction so we are calculating it ourselves and trying to uh, get anime anim animated animated frames and that doesn't work value is not of type long with github copilot be able to sort this out this rounding numbers still get the same error yeah, we shouldn't be doing this from uh, main.js, should we? Should be doing it from detect pupil. Now again, the for I do see um, the drawing being overlaid on top of the image. However, I get the following error. Uh, here's the relevant code. Can you suggest how to fix it? Yeah, okay, we would like to refine the pupil detection. 
because it seemed to not be currently working. So can we go over that uh, function uh, step by step, see how we can improve it? Eventually, ideally, somehow we would like to display how the detection is uh, being made on the front panel. Yep, if you haven't checked, bindercast.com, please go do so.